Hey guys, it's Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we're going to show you the quadruple flip pony. It's always nice to have a couple ponytail variations in your repertoire, especially for the summertime when you're going to be going to the beach and pool and you need something to do with your hair that's quick when it's wet and you've just gotten out of the water. So we are going to start by just picking up this front section. Just a small, doesn't have to be too big. And kind of, I'm going to use just a little bit of hairspray to help control some of the flyaways. And we're just going to kind of comb it back. And you can um, also tease your hair a little bit before doing this if you want for a little bit more fullness and volume right through here. Then I'm going to take one of these small elastics and I'm just going to wrap her hair through. And don't make your elastic too, too tight because what we're going to do is now we're going to slide it back about an inch and we're going to create a hole in the hair. You can see that my fingers can go all the way through. Can you see that? And what we're going to do is we're going to take the ponytail and take it and just flip it through like so. I do it better when I'm using both hands so it might be a little bit trickier for you to see. But you can see, I'll turn around so you can see it, there's the bottom of our ponytail now. And then you can just tug just lightly and it'll pull it through. And we have our first flip. Now we're going to just repeat that again but we're going to pick up a little bit bigger section. Again we're going to have to kind of control the flyaways. This is why this would be a great one for beach days because if your hair is already wet, it's just going to, you know, be already combed down easily. You're not going to have as much of a flyaway issue. Grab another elastic. And I prefer the elastics to match the hair as close as possible. That way you don't see them as much when the hair is all finished. Again, slide it down just a little bit and begin to work the hair apart until you create a small hole. Take it, use your fingers, tuck it through. You can see again we've tucked it. And pull it through. Whoop, sorry, we have one little straggler hair. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna repeat again. And we're going to only leave it so there's just a little bit of hair at the bottom that's left out of this one. So we're kind of going from like middle of the air on both sides. We're picking up most of her hair at this point. Again, a little bit of flyaway control. And an elastic. You can see her ponytails get quite massive to work with and part it. This is an easy hairdo to do on yourself as well. In fact, the first day I did this hair, I did it on myself to begin with and she liked it so much she asked me to do it on hers. And then she wore it to school, I believe it was, and got a ton of compliments on it, which was kind of fun. Whoop. There we go. We have one little hair that doesn't want to come through. There. Okay. Tighten it up a little bit. You can, you can see that these ones are showing these elastics. You can go back and just kind of tug the hair down a little and try to hide them, but it's not too concerning to me. Now on the fourth one, I am going to take it just slightly off center like this and again use an elastic we're just repeating the exact same process just slightly off to the side we're gonna take it create our little hole flip the hair through I do better flipping with two hands for some reason Reach down and pull the ponytail through. There we go. And then tighten it down a little. Brush out the ends. 
and you have a little fun variation of a ponytail and it almost sort of looks like a braid of some sort, some kind of tricky braid. And then just if you have flyaway issues like she does today, you can just use some hairspray, tuck them down, and you're finished. We hope you enjoy. I think you'll get a lot of comments on this. I know I did when I wore it. And we'll spin her all the way around so you can see. We'll see you for the next tutorial.